These plants behave Go. similarly to the scorn poles we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed by the sun. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. <laughs> you know well how that worked out. The Norns. The fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. Atreus would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. He disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fabled to fight at Ragnarok. I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one glow concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time... Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Ha! Well done, bro. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting a child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. You never know when someone will come along and cut it short. What about the crane? Can you turn it somehow? Can you swing that torch to the other side and burn the bramble blocking your path? Let's cross the bridge now.
you, of anyone alive, be squeamish about war? After all the gods you've killed. I have seen enough war to know the cost. And I do. For the price I pay Look around you, Kratos. See what happens when you don't fight a true evil. Now back to the task at hand. That's one of Odin's captains. Be ready. Unscutar Asgard. Defeat the Vanir Sauda.
Ragnarok will not bring back what you have lost any more than killing me. I am reaching my limit for enlightened platitudes from you today. Can you please just shut up and kill things? Tell me to kill again. What? I killed to protect my son, to aid my friends. But I will be no one's monster. Never again. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. So much has been taken from me, and I'm just supposed to let it all go? Freya. Enough. Let's go. It's just past the door. Feel the source of the magic keeping me in Midgard. What is this place? My home. Hmm. Hold on. Something's not right. Opin Bera. World tree roots bound in Odin's damn knots. That's how he did it. Come on! Nepo! The creature! It belongs to Odin? No! It protects Yggdrasil's roots wherever they are. Bastard was counting on it. Oh! 
Let us finish this! It's opening its stomach again! Get ready! done. It's over. It's, it's really over. And now that you have what you seek, I suppose this is the point where I forgive you, where I kill you. Have you decided? I can do either. There's still a part of me that is so angry that it'll always be. It'll always be angry. But no. You are not the one who needs to die. I do see that.
Look, everything that's happened between us. No need to explain. Not to me. Not for that. I do not regret saving your life, and never will. But the choice between life and death should have been yours to make. I should not have robbed you of that choice. it's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment.
over there. We can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Now embed your blades into the glowing vines and light it. Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freyr. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me for half my life. These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. Sigil should hold the frost, even in the axe's absence. Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. Yeah. <laughs> 
Could I ever think of this place as home again? After all that's happened. We don't have the equipment for this. Vanaheim? We learned the Giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freya, too. I see something. <gasps> You won't be able to damage it without destroying the mother. It's a large, bulbous thing. You can't miss it. I think you'd have better luck burning it. Giants definitely crafted it. There's two wolves represented here. Perhaps a connection to our friends in the sky. A mystery for another time. Enemies on the left! <laughs> <laughs> 
So much has happened since I last saw Freyr. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Deimos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. <laughs> How to get across? My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble. Forgiveness can be powerful, even for the unworthy. My wife, Faye, taught me that. Hmm. Well, be glad you have a spouse to remember fondly. Vicarmer Petrias Gardenson. Regi Feta Erotri. Yeah. <laughs> 
All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depths to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. Watch for the plants. They like me, but strangers not so much. I see that. We don't have the equipment for this. So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Ready? As I ever will be.
No. It really is you. <laughs> you returned to us at last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne. We'll rebuild. Me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported no matter how selfish his choices. <sighs> I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me. Freya, please. I... I thought you were dead. No. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. Have you any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. Oh, Freya. I mourned you. Oh, I missed you so much. And I you Ingrid. But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? What you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare heads. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, if and you ain't staying here, Bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tyr. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that.
Well, all right then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well, brother, care to meet our new allies? Or shall we depart? Oh, excuse me, can y'all stop and help a lady out, please? Damn it! You know I hate what it is when it? you're loyal. Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the river delta. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. I was so frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. <laughs> oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge. <laughs> what sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know. No refunds. I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word.
This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Runa. Go ahead. Carve the letter. Suna. It's an incantation. I'll sue. No. The elves in Freyr's camp mentioned a gate like this in Alfheim. Kept on about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the barrens. A trip to Alfheim. Well, we can decide at the gateway. This boat should get us there if we can clear those vines. Remember what to do? There's a fallen log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. We're clear. So it's true. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. Mm. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. Good. We can explore the river now. And hopefully right some old wrongs. <coughs> What is your unfinished business? I left something behind, near the falls. Your wedding site? Now why do you want to be going back there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage. And to Asgard. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. My people settled this river many ages ago. Thousands traveled it on pilgrimage to the Shrine of Worship. But then the Aesir came. This is all that's left.
Waterfalls. We're close. There should be a gate up ahead. That's quite a gate. Don't suppose you know a way through. The Pilgrim Gate. I can open it. We just need to find the right vantage point. said the ace here burned him yes we weren't yet at war but relations with the vanir and aesir had been hostile for ages freyer got it into his head that he could improve relations by sharing our magic with them vanir techniques for bountiful harvests enough to feed their whole population getting set on fire was the thanks he got that's true the Aesir were too undisciplined and impatient for the subtlety of Vanir spellcraft. So when things went wrong, they blamed their teacher. So Freyr was a guest when Odin burned him? Not exactly. Odin didn't mind locking Freyr up. He saw the potential of the magic and wanted to know more than how to improve crop yields. And we'll just stop there for now. But to what end? When the Ain Heriar came, we needed a way to fight back. I suggested Say them, Major. I understand your desperation, but that was foolish. Clearly. I was lucky enough to be murdered before my mind could be corrupted, as theirs did. You must free them. Of course. Say the magic corrupts so ruthlessly. Those poor souls must be in agony. Then we shall give them death. My friend's souls are still twisted, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Now, how do we get up there, I wonder? We can't. Not with those vines in the way. Doesn't look like we can reach it from down here.
I'm a beast bearing Lunder's brand. Shame it's broken. Nice bit of work otherwise. Then why leave it? You suspicious of her, brother? If the orb she seeks is important, she would not have left it behind. Ah, perhaps. Must be safer this way. We'll need to find another way around. Good thing you learned the runes, brother. Kind of my orb, though, since I am doing this for free and whatnot. No. And Lady Freya? You know what you want? About time I had something to do. What'll it be? And now for the goddess. Big man, let's make something then. Hitting the road or chewing the fat?
lip flapping. Do or no? Need something special? Wanna hear? You make up your mind. It fits. Feels like there was something else. Despite his actions in Midgard, Atreus does still care for you. I know. I raised a son, too. It may be hard to believe, but he was quite similar to Atreus at this age. He adored his father, always wanted to do right by him, and was constantly frustrated that no matter what he did, he never could seem to get his approval. He confided in me a lot, sought the comfort his father withheld. I wonder if your son could benefit from that, too. He has befriended the other dwarf. The Blue One's brother. Oh. Well, if Sindri has that covered, I suppose there's no need for me in his life anymore, is there? That is not what I meant. That was sarcasm. Expanded my wear. What? If you got the raw materials to make them. Ravens. The ones we've been destroying. Odin's little spies. Like the father of all, we swung from the tree. With the gain of gain. A gift of life, a gift in death, to smother forever. Odin must have created these creatures, but how? I'm the foggiest. They came after my time with them. But perhaps we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens we find. What? You just came to stare?
We're heading back to Vanaheim? We still have unfinished business there. We've still got to find that mysterious orb for Lunda. And what else? A lost spirit still trapped in the River Delta. Perhaps we can put them to rest. Lead the way. Brother, do you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then. Astrid's garden. The wilds reclaimed it. It was beautiful once. Oh! 
cleverness. The ecosystem. Balance. All is desolation. To you. you need never apologize. I swore yes. to keep this garden to live forever. I will return, Astrid. Why? The earth is a reflection of those who came. So long as the land is plagued, her soul will be as well. <laughs> we have to destroy the totems. They're poisoning Astrid's garden. Life when returns to the garden. So Good. See that explosive? Setting it off could help. Ah, maybe you can hit it from a different angle. This mentions a spell that puts trolls to sleep. And a magic relic that acts as a sort of counter spell. Crest of Henir. Poor man. Can you see if there's a way inside while you're up there? Anything illuminating? Still aches. There must be more poison somewhere. the day when my garden grows again. It's finished. Let's return yes. to Astrid. Your garden grows again. Freya, how did you... It's okay, Astrid. It's time to move on. Thank you, Goddess. I do love you. And I you. You've done a great kindness. A temporary one. The garden will die again. All things do. That is no reason not to try.
Glad to see that still works. <coughs> Looks like more of Lunda's old armor. Nearly have the complete set now. The door is held shut by that counterweight. We lower it, the door will open. Nothing, brother. Just. You ever have those moments where you wish you could go back, rewrite your own past, make different decisions? Journey through time is more trouble than it is worth. Ah, fair point. You're speaking metaphorically, right? No. Of course you're not. Maybe you can break the chain from here as well, no? The gate's open. We can head back and get inside.
did you mean when you said Freya was not exactly a guest of the Aesir? I meant by the time they burned it, he'd been a prisoner for some time. It was a mob of lesser Aesir, bitter and short-sighted, who tied him up and lit him aflame as punishment for the sabotage they imagined him guilty of. this later. Please, please end their suffering. Mimir, I never asked how it felt to lose your head. What would you have me say? That it tickled? Merely curious. 
If you wish to derive some satisfaction from my pain, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Kratos swung swift and true, didn't you, brother? I felt nearly a scratch. Shame. tell of Freya being burned by the Aesir mob. Well, obviously he survived. In fact, he used the opportunity to escape. But such an affront made war inevitable. Freya certainly wasn't the same after that. At least for a while. His carefree ways were replaced with nightmares, paranoia, and lashing out. It doesn't excuse what he said at my wedding, but... I do understand where his anger came from. Freya, there's something I've always wanted to ask. What was it Hrimthur whispered to you? Who? Hrimthur. The son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Oh, yes. One of the men... Occasions Odin saw fit to involve me in a wager without my consent. I wish I could say that. <laughs> 